alaikum. Alhamdulillah, I was listening, I uh, was sitting here and observing on these activities of the children and was feeling feeling very good, Alhamdulillah. And I think first I appreciate our, uh, our parents and who are spending time here and brought their children to the program. Now I want to go a little bit backward in my discussion as you mentioned, I'm involved in IPDC also. So that's, that's for all of your information. Please, can you please, I will not take more than five minutes, I promise. So I just, this, this house was an abundant property. I mean, people used to come here and took the drug as an item on this thing. Alhamdulillah, some Pakistan Dawa Sarkar IPDC, um, almost 15 years ago, bought this property and slowly converted to, uh, to a mosque. Alhamdulillah, it took a long time for us to take the permission. Uh, I feel personally feel so good uh, for those brothers who work so hard to make this property. I mean, like, like an institute now. And with the help of our, our uh, so beloved and knowledgeable, our, our Sheikh Abu Huraira, since he came here, Alhamdulillah, he, he turned this Atasqida from, as you mentioned, from almost 10 students to 100 students. So it's very important uh, to have a knowledgeable Sheikh uh, in an institute. We are very lucky to having him in, in, in the institute as a principal. So what I mentioned about this organization, the brother, it is very important. We are living in Australia, so all the parents sitting here, I'm talking about parents first and the children. Children will listen, inshallah. It is our duty to do something here. Although I believe many Bangladeshi are oriented, but it's open for everyone. You can come and join and work with us. If I believe would not take initiative, believe me, when we bought the property, this mosque, the price was 197000 and in our account was only fifteen thousand dollars, only fifteen thousand. And it shall all the brothers of organization they promised many students who will not pay the tuition fee. They paid five thousand, ten thousand, working night time extra to pay for the mosque. So these are the dedication we want from the Muslim community. We are only two point six percent Muslim in Australia, but because of media, people think we have a lot. We have a lot of duty. I, I congratulate the, the parents came here today and who bring their children here. You find out many parents in our community who takes Saturday, their children, their boys and their girls, boys mostly the, the soccer fields or the sports, and they take their daughters for the dancing class, for the music class. They pay there, they stay there a long time. And I appreciate the parents, Alhamdulillah, who came here, who come regularly with their children to teach them the Quran and Islamic education. And this is the best time to, as I said, mention. When time will go away, you will not, you will not get back this time anymore. My, my both boys are one university pass and one going to uni. So long, even if they do not come, Alhamdulillah, they are involved with IBDC, Alhamdulillah. I request you, as, as brother um, Farad mentioned, there are two parts of the education. One is knowledge, one is practice. You have to think about it. So you can give a lot of knowledge, to your children, but at the same time, you need a platform to practice Islam. It's very, very important. So for IBDC, I'm not advertising IBDC, but I'm mentioning this organization because to me, we call IBDC a caravan of Islam. In Australia, we try to practice different aspects of Islam within our small organization, our education sector, our school, our, our weekly halakha, our monthly halakha, our picnic. Now, picnic coming uh, next. Um, uh, uh, 12th of January. So we go there with a lot of families, five, six hundred people go with Islamic environment. Our target is to show in Australia, to live in Australian Islamic environment. Believe me, doesn't matter how smart you are, only yourself and your family. If you're isolated from the Islamic community, society, you cannot live Islamic life. Yes, maybe when the children are very, very small, very little, you can control them. Okay, yeah, do, do, do that. But when you go to uni, what are you going to do? You can't do anything. They need something. They need some, the, the friendship. They need a community. That's our children come every Saturday here. Not only here, inshallah, all of our still almost six steps we have worked on IPDC. We try to do a similar type of program. We have institute of every, every step. I'm requesting all the parents, those who are involved in IPDC also strongly, please come for your benefit and for your children's benefit, inshallah. And we can consider all the, all the children who come here, here, here regularly. And, and we have, as Sheikh mentioned, a lot of shortcomings. Our space is very small, inshallah. We are planning to renovate this place. We'll, we'll go to you for, uh, for help, all types of help. Please consider this institute as your own institute. 
and for the benefit of your children, your family, and yourself, please pull in board and cooperate. I mean, we can criticize for many shortcomings, but we're gonna solve this. We don't have any government fund or anything. We have to earn our own money. All the brothers and sisters, they contribute for our sake, for our dunya and akhara. For emotional dunya also, we, we want happiness in dunya and akhara. I know many friends, because of my position organization, we meet different people, different. Many brothers, many parents, they work days and half, night. They turn their children, select to the school, make doctor. Eventually, those children even do not respect them, who live with them, even though even salam. And that brother, one brother was meeting and he was crying. He was so hard to send his, his daughter to, and she became doctor. And he doesn't come to his house anymore. Because she married one non-Muslim. Alhamdulillah. She became so smart. First God at the end of the day. He was crying. So I'm not, I'm not saying on the negative side. I'm just warning, brother. This is fact. This is happening in front of your eyes also. So it is our duty, very important, to live an Islamic environment. I, I'm talking about my BDC. Any, any Islamic or any group, please involve with them, your, your children, so that they can see what is Islam. Islam is not only Quran, you read the Quran and, and put in the shelf. No. Quran is a practical guideline. I just, we shot, yeah, sorry, I couldn't feel, keep my promise when talking about the Quran, I became emotional. Because you see, Prophet the best person ever killed in the world, up to 40 years of age, he could not change the society. But after 40 years, when we start Quran coming, the world changed. Sahaba Ismail used to ask him all the questions and he used to wait. Sometimes he knew the answer from the Quran and he answered. If he didn't know the answer, he was quiet. But I will let you know later. When the week came and he answered. That means we need the knowledge, the source. That's what Ataskira is trying to give you. The knowledge of the Quran and Sunnah. So that your children learn about it and in the daily practice. So I repeat, I finish. A brother, Farah Ganshan, Little Muslim program. This is very good opportunity every Saturday, 4 o'clock. Please, like this class, try to go home and come in the afternoon. Or you can join in our program. And then your, your children will see at home. Or my parents also practicing, Alhamdulillah. And then they will also practice. It is, Islam is not in, in theoretical religion. Islam is a practical religion from, from a wake up to sleep. Every minute, every second, we have to live as a Muslim. There is no shortcut to go to Jannah. No shortcut. Islam is for complete life for every day, every minute. I repeat, may Allah help us, institute, IPDC, all of us, so that we all can go Jannah together with our children. Our dream should be, our dream should be, we live in the Jannah with our wife, with our children, same way the better, inshallah. May Allah accept us in Jannah, may Allah help us to leave us together in the Jannah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.